Welcome to Bedtime Story. Today we are going to read my first Bob book, Pre-Reading Skills. Do you want to develop your pre-reading skills with different methods? Then this one book is going to help you with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is learning simple shapes. It's all about shapes in different ways. So my best friend learning simple shapes by Lynn Maslin Cottle. Shally, a circle was best friends with a square name set. Whenever Shali went, Seth went too. Wherever Shali liked, Seth liked too. One day, a triangle named Tanner moved to next door. Soon, Shali, Seth and Tanner were three good friends. Until morning, Shali liked one thing, but Seth and Tanner liked something different. Shali felt sad. She gave herself sorry hug. So right now we have learned three shapes that is triangle, square and circle. Seth and Tanner searched for Shali but she was no longer a circle. Her friend didn't recognize her. Seth and Tanner missed Shali. Seth slumped down. Tanner was upset. All three started to cry and out came tears shaped like squares, triangles and circles. They were tears, they were actually coming in different shapes. When Shally saw the shape of the tear, she laughed until she felt she would burst and look, she was a circle again. When Seth and Tana saw her, they perked up and giggled too. Shali, Seth and Tanner were themselves again three good friends. Square, circle and triangle. Now we will learn hide and seek. Finding hidden shapes. So these are the hidden shapes in our houses and everywhere which we find it. Do you want to find it with me? Then let's read it ahead by Lynn Maslin. Seth, Tanner and Shali were best friends. They liked to play hide and seek. Do you like to have play hide and seek? I do. I am. It's I am. It shouted Shali. Tanner and Seth ran to hidden hide. When is, where is Seth? Where is he? Thought Shali. He looked and looked. Can't find me? Called Seth. Where is Tano? Where is he? Asked Shali and Seth. They looked and looked. Come and get me. Teased Tanner. My turn to hide. Said Shali. Where Shali? Where is she? wondered Seth and Tana. Here I am, laughed Shali. Shali, Seth and Tana all hide. Where did they go? Here they are. So if you noticed in this book, we had so many shapes like flowers and round shape, kites in rectangle shape, and windows in square shape, houses and doors all rectangle shape, trees in triangle shape, mountain in triangle shape and so on. So when we go out we can see around and see what all shapes are there around us. Now this book is about the picnic matching shapes. So the Picnic Matching Shapes is written by Lynn Mashlin Cartle. 
What a day for a picnic! Shelly and her brother Matt went to park. Seth took his brother Mac. Tanner took his brother Sam and sister Dot. Matt and Shelly brought their favorite foods shaped orange and plums. They all are round in shape if you see them. Mac and Seth pack peanuts, butter and jelly sandwich. So now come the square shape. Sam, Tanner and Dot cup, cut up pizza and pie for the picnic. Now comes the triangle shape. Tanner asked, pizza anyone? Shelly said, who likes fruit? Please have sandwiches too, explained Seth. Seth, Shelly and Tanner sat down to eat. So if you can see, here we have triangle, circle and square, all three shapes. What a yummy lunch. They had a lot of fun eating circles, squares and triangles. Now this book is about the mix-up, learning simple sorting. By Lynn Maslin Cottle. Shali, Seth and Tanner wanted to build a toy village. But how? said Shali. Looking at the jumble pie of toys, Tanner liked toys that rolled. So if you can see, there are so many shapes in the toys. Here he wanted to find all the cars, trucks and tractors, which is a square or rectangle shape. Shali was looking for animal. Shali found few where the others Seth wanted to make the building. He needed to find all the blocks. They found their favorite toy. They were ready to build. Now all the blocks are of square shaped. The truck animal and the block made an excellent village. Can you turn around and tell me today? What all shapes do you see? Square, rectangle, circle and in what they are? Now this book is about fix it, matching and sorting by Lynn Maslin Cottle. Shali and Seth were going on a play date. Wow, play dates. They went to Tanner house. Shali found a broken drum. She asked Tanner brother Sam to fix it. What is the shum- what is the shape of the drum? Can you tell me? Yes, you're right. It's a circle. What do they need to fix them drum? Sam and Shali fixed the drum. Said flag was broken. Can you fix it, Sam? He asked. Sure, said Sally. What does it need? It need a new stick. That should do it, said Sat. Tanner, tricycle didn't work. What do we need to fix it, wondered Tanner. A new wheels, yelled Tanner. So now here come the circle shape. That's just what it need. Hooray! The toy were fixed and everyone could play. This book is about the parade, sorting and classifying. So we are here gonna sort it and then classify what shape it is. Will you classify it with, with me? And this book is written by Lynn Maslin Carter. The sun was shining on parade, parade day. Shali, Seth and Tanner were excited. They were going to march with their favorite things. Tanner liked the color blue. He wanted to ride. He adored things with three wheels. 
what should he bring to parade? Tanner rode his tricycle. Sally wanted something loud and round. She loved to bang. Sally chose a drum. Seth felt empty. He wanted something tall and cheerful that waved in the breeze. Seth picked a flag. Rolling, banging and fluttering, the friends marched and marched. It was the best parade ever. Now comes the block town. It's about learning simple patterns. There are so many patterns around us which we can see every day. So let's see what this ha- book have to say by Lynn Maslin Cartel. Seth and Mac were building a block town. Block by block, the town grew. The block made a pattern. Seth's friend wanted to help build the block town. Shali and Tanner put the block down, but the block didn't fit the pattern. If you see here, the pattern is like sleeping, sleeping, standing, sleeping, standing. So it's not in a pattern. It's like going not in a pattern. Try another way, Seth suggested. So now the pattern is small and then too big and then small and then too big then small and too big. This is what is called a pattern. Shali and Tanner pushed the block aside. Shali and Tanner looked at the scattered block. They did not give up. They turned the block upside down, around and over. They kept on trying. Now they made a new pattern. But they have to make the exact pattern. Seth had an idea. Together the four friends look at the shapes. Now the shape pattern is small and then two tall and then one small one and then two tall ones. That's how the pattern goes. Square, rectangle, rectangle. They said, now we can build it. So now their pattern is square and then two rectangles, then one square and then two rectangles, one square and two rectangles. Adding to the pattern, Charlie tanned and said, build the fantastic block town. Their block town is completed. Three in a row. Changing Pattern by Lynn Maslin Cottle. Charlie received a gift, a Russian nesting doll called a matryoshka. When she opened her doll, there was another one inside and another. Seth and Tanner received Matryoshka too. First, Shali lined her doll. Then Seth put his a row. Tanner lined up his doll last. So one doll is in circle shape, one is in square shape, and another one is triangle shape. The friend found another way to line up their dolls. Then they arranged the dolls in different pattern. Let's try this way, said Seth. Oops, one doll rolled under the couch. Which one is missing? Where did Shali Matroska go? Tanner said to Seth. Who would like tea? asked Shali, rolling in a car. The Matroska tea party was the most elegant affair. This book name is Snow, More, More Complex Pattern. 
This is the most complex pattern, the snowflakes, by Lynn Maslin Carter. When Seth woke up, the ground was covered with white. The fence posts had white hats, but bundled up in his warm snow suit to go outside. Step, 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 set feet. Made a pattern in the snow. So it's a new pattern which he's trying to make in snow. If you can see. So next time when you go in snow, you can try making different patterns. Hop, 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 set could change the pattern. Set found a stick. He made a new design. Hop, drag, hop, drag. Look at his pattern now. The cap of snow made a pattern on the fence. Whack, set, change the pattern. Jump, whack, jump, whack. That's a new pattern he tried to make in snow. Jump, drag, jump, drag. It is time to go home. Look what said dog did to his pattern. He added his paw pattern. So next time when we will go in slow, we will also try to make some pattern. Do you want to try with me? Let's go. This book is about Get Ready, Learning Simple Sequence by Lynn Maslin Cottle. Tanner was eating his lunch, but he was ready. He was ready to play with his toys. What happened next? Tanner finished his lunch, then he jumped down to play. Sally was getting ready, ready to run. What happened next? Sally put on her shoes, then she ran to Tanner house. Seth was getting ready, ready to ride. What happened next? Seth put on his helmet, then he scooted to Tanner house. Sally and Tanner arrived at Tanner house. What happens next? They knocked on the door. Hi Sally, hi Seth, shouted Tanner. The three friends were ready to play. What happened next? They did play all the way until dinner time.